Helldivers 2 has been getting constant updates recently. We're getting new weapons, stratagems, enemies, and plenty of balance updates as well. Now, a few patches ago, the devs did go and nerf the infamous Mortar farm that everyone used to grind for medals and XP. But in this week's update, they made some other changes that have opened up a new XP and metal farm that you might want to check out. Now, this has no exploits or abandoning missions, I promise. But before I get into that, please consider dropping a like if this does help you out and if you feel like i missed the mark don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comment section below let's get into it <laughs> So this farm is similar to the Mortar farm from back in the day, except the downside here is you can't just AFK and let the turrets do all the work. So in patch 01.1, the devs balanced eradicate missions by basically doubling the amount of kills it requires for completion. This made the eradicate automaton missions feel impossible unless you really took them seriously. Well, what this patch also gave us was the brand new Combat Walker exosuit. Now this thing is absolutely essential in short terminated missions like eradication or blitz, especially on those higher levels. So what you want to do is go and look for the missions with the hive symbol that say eradicate terminated swarm, and you want to make sure that you are on the highest difficulty. Now I recommend taking the mech, both mortar turrets, and then either a 500 kg bomb or the orbital laser. Now, if everyone in your party runs this, it becomes a walk in the park. I've had some people run turrets and even the Tesla Tower. Both do work as long as you're careful with your placements. Now, gear doesn't really matter, although if you really want to min-max, I'd recommend one or two of you to bring the Slugger Shotgun, arguably the best gun in the game. Perfect at killing everything medium to large except for charges and biles, of course. Then you could have everyone else either bring Breakers or Breaker Incendiaries, to clear all these smaller hordes of enemies. If you don't have friends to play with, then LFG is your best friend. Discord always worked best for me. I'll leave a link to it down below. Now, once you've launched into one of these missions, you want to have one or two people get their mechs as soon as possible, and then have everyone place down their mortars in the safest place possible. Now, the mechs need to use their machine guns to completely mow down all the smaller enemies in the area. If those enemies do get too close, then you will die to your own mortars, which is not ideal. Now, the rockets in the mechs need to be saved for charges and biles. What people have failed to realize is that March 12's patch, the one that reduced all the spawn rates of biles and charges, and also nerfed charges by making their heads more vulnerable, absolutely buffed the mechs indirectly. Throughout the entire mission, you should only have to deal with like three to six bile titans, and they always come one at a time. Now, if you were unaware, the mechs can two-shot a bile by hitting it in the head with the rockets, and then they can also one-shot charges the exact same way. This means the entire mission becomes a cakewalk, and when the mechs die or run out of ammo, you have two other people in the party that can still call in theirs. Now, if you're not in a mech, feel free to use your 500 kg or your orbital laser if you think it is necessary, and make sure you call your mortars back in when you can. On average, I was completing these in about 5 minutes on Helldive difficulty without any comms at all, and with random teammates. This means I was getting just over 90 medals an hour. Doesn't seem like a lot compared to the old method, but it is a lot faster than getting 8 medals every 30 minutes from doing normal Helldive missions. Now, if this this comes across as boring or you just hate the idea, you can instead just do every short mission type with a similar approach. So destroy egg missions, seal bug hole missions, and eradicate defense missions are all less than 10 minutes to completion each, and they all have a similar approach. Sealing bug holes is extremely easy, you just want to send all four of you in a different direction. You can use mechs or just go on foot and drop a 500kg bomb on top of any nest that you find, and then extract. The destroy eggs is very similar, we would send two people to the left, two people to the right, and then we would all just meet at the nest in the middle before extraction. If you drop a 500kg on the nest, it should just about destroy every egg in there, and you can also use mechs, they are very overkill for these missions as well. 
And that, my friends, is how you can farm an infinite supply of medals for the new guns and armor without aborting missions or using any exploits at all. Doing this will also contribute to the liberation of the galaxy and the protection of Super Earth. Drop a like if you found the video helpful, and I'll catch you on the front lines. Peace.